Hi, this is Sebastian, KB0TTL. This will be the first part of our support videos uh, here on the new Zygu G90 HF rig that we have here at BridgeCom Systems. Today, we're gonna go through some of the core functions of the radio. We're gonna go ahead and program in a few memory channels here today. We'll also go into the entry of frequencies via the microphone itself and the controls on the microphone, just to get you acquainted here with this radio. So let's begin. So on our microphone here, we have each of the bands, the 1.8 or the 160. We have the 10, which is the 30 meter band, 24, which is the 12 meter band, or we have the 28, which is the 10 meter band. The Zygu does not currently support uh, six meters, uh, two meters or 440. So these bottom three, ignore the megahertz on the top. If you push this, it will not go to that band. But say we hit the 1.8, pops us right to 160. Hit the 3.5, pops us right on into the um, into the 80 meter band. Push the seven, pops us right into the 40 meter band and so on and so forth. Now we can also directly enter a frequency uh, via this keypad here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead to the, um, uh, to the enter or ENT button here down on the bottom, a little white button we're gonna push. Suppose we want to get to the base of the general class portion of the 20 meter band. We're just going to go ahead and dial in numerically 14. Point. 225. And enter. And there we are. It fills in the zeros behind it uh, once you hit enter. And now we can scroll up into the general portion of the um, of the 20 meter band, which is pretty cool. So there is direct entry of frequency. Um, the tuner, that is the antenna tuner, is just a short press. Or you could also tune the radio using the antenna tuner, internal tuner, by hitting the center button here on the top of the microphone. And either way, you can use the tuner. We have the up and down, frequency up and down button for the increment that you're in. Here on the mic or via the dial. Uh, makes it pretty handy. We could select between VFO and memory. You have customizable buttons, function one and two. Select the mode, you can change the mode to USB, to CW, narrow FM, AM, and of course back to upper sideband right here on the microphone. Now some of these other buttons have to do with like some of the digital functions of the radio and we'll get into these later on. Um, but for now, these are the basic and uh, core functions of the radio and keypad. Let's go ahead and save a few memory channels. There's gonna be a few frequencies that maybe nets are more popular to appear on that you're gonna wanna save to memory or just key frequencies that maybe you talk simplex on um, with some of your friends around the country here. So I'm gonna show you how to program in frequencies uh, for memory, how to switch from VFO to memory mode. It's actually pretty easy with this radio. Uh, first, let's dial in a frequency that's commonly used. I hear a lot of uh, nets going on on 7.185 on the 40 meter band. So let's go ahead and save that as one of our channels. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna use my little handy dandy microphone here. I'm gonna go to the 40 meter band. I'm gonna punch in, I'm gonna say 7.185. Let's so enter 07, or just seven. Point one eight five and push enter, it fills in the zeros. And here we are, we're ready to go ahead and save this as memory. So on the top, next to function, there's the memory. Memory button. We're gonna go ahead and give that a couple presses until the channel selection here starts flashing. We're gonna select one, or you hit memory again. It saves it as one. 
Now, so we have a few channels to switch through, to switch between. Let's go up to 7.188. I occasionally hear a few nets on 188. So just for the heck of it, we're going to save that as our second memory. So 7.188. You could either use the uh, keypad or you can dial it on in. Let's go ahead and dial this one on in just for some repetition here. Six, seven and eight. Okay, 7.188. We're going to save this as a memory. Hit our memory button to go to memory mode. Channel one, channel two. Push that again to save. All right, now let's go ahead and put this in memory mode. So let's switch to some other frequency that we weren't on before that isn't in one of our memories. And let's switch into memory mode to show that it worked when we saved our settings here, basically. So let's tune way, way up on the spectrum here on the dial. Go ahead and hit our VFO memory function to toggle between VFO mode, which we're in now, over to memory mode. Okay, so we're in channel 1, 7.185. And channel 2, 7.188. And we can save up to 99 memories in this radio, which is a pretty cool little feature. So you can save all your net frequencies um, and you can save in whatever simplex frequencies that you and your friends normally talk on. Let's go up to the 80 meter band. It's sort of on the fringe edge of the efficiency of this antenna as the antenna is cut for 40 meters. So if we go up to 80, it's kind of, um, kind of a short run for 80, probably about a quarter wavelength at best. We'll use our antenna analyzer to see just how efficient we believe this antenna is going to be for 80 meters. Then we'll use our antenna tuner to see if we can kind of uh, clean up the response on the antenna here a little bit. We're going to short press the power uh, button here for our uh, antenna analyzer. We have a very, very high SWR reading as I was expecting. And then we're going to go ahead and use our antenna tuner to see if we can uh, bring that down here a little bit. So to jump out of our uh, antenna analyzer, we're going to go ahead and short press the VM button again to bring it back to VFO. We're going to use our antenna tuner function now. Very good antenna tuner, took a little bit of work, but let's see if it cleaned up um, cleaned up some of the response to the antenna. I think it will. Gonna go ahead and short press now for the um, antenna analyzer. And yes, right where we're at, it actually notched it down. Took it from about a four SWR uh, down to about a two SWR. So this antenna, right where we're tuned here, is actually usable now due to the internal antenna tuner. So two very uh, key functions of this radio is the internal antenna tuner, which I haven't seen in a lot of radios two, three times the price of this radio, as well as the antenna analyzer. And as we all know, a good antenna analyzer can easily cost you the price of this radio. So two key functions right here in the Zygu, usable right from the front panel. I love it. The Zygu G90 offers a compelling experience and a compact and portable build for all of your HF needs. If you'd like to get started in HF or would like to learn more about this excellent transceiver, be sure to click the link in our description. If you have more questions about the Zygu G90, which I'm sure you have, be sure to let us know down in the comments. To keep up with new things in amateur radio, be sure to click the notification bell. Thanks again for watching. I'm Sebastian, KB0TTL with BridgeCom Systems, N73.